See, sometimes Gabe does make mistakes. He's scrambling. I'm gonna keep this rolling. We are super excited for this video. This is the first experiment video where we get to show you a cool ass color with the new next gen top coat. And this color is gonna pop, right Gabe? Mm -hmm. He said it, it's gonna pop. Right over here is the STI and it's got a gorgeous flex blue base on it. No base pops like flex blue. Am I right? This is true. Validation from Gabe always means something. So here goes the satin next gen. Now what is gonna go on top of this flex blue you may ask? Well, allow me to show you. Right over here, I have a whole bunch of bags of ZTZ Hypershift. This is one of those weird hypershifts where we've only used it once, maybe? Yeah. It's got some funky colors to it. It goes from like something to something to green. Greens, silvers, pewters, purples. Check this out. It's super green. It's got a beautiful foresty kind of green, but it goes to this, like Gabe said, like silvery pewter color and then it almost has a purpley plum on the extremes. Did I make that up or is that real? That's correct. So when it comes down to pigment load, I've got four five gram bags. This is either gonna be five gram per gallon load or a 10 gram per gallon load. Vote? I always go lighter load. <sighs> Gabe always wants to go lighter load because he says you can always add more, right? That's the trademark term. And I always say, I'd rather do less coats, so can we get away with more pearl? The problem is, if Gabe's wrong, there's not much consequence. If I'm wrong, we could potentially screw up the entire project. So we'll side with Gabe this time. So what does that mean? Two bags. Okay. There were a couple people in the last video that were confused um, about the pigment load. When we put in 10 grams, most of you guys know this, but when we put in 10 grams of ZTZ here, after we film the mixing, we always cut it with one more gallon of clear. So whatever pigment load you see us dump in here will essentially get cut in half. ZTZ going in. We don't have any mixing sticks. See, sometimes Gabe does make mistakes. He's scrambling. I'm gonna keep this rolling. Thank you. ZTZ, I think, hmm, is the pewter even gonna show over the flex blue? That's the question. I think so. Cause that's gonna look weird. It's very green right now. That's all I can tell you. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Super green. Stick of truth will tell us the whole story. Or not. Okay, so there's the green. I know you guys can see the green. Can you see the pewter? What is pewter, really? You said it. I've been saying it since you said it. A silverish, grayish, brownish type of mix. Okay, that's in there. I promise. So ZTZ over Flex Blue. I'm so pumped. Let's go.
All right, guys, we're all done with the project. Now, we've been doing this a long time, and I'm always trying to be as open and honest with you as I can. And the truth is, this car didn't come out at all the way we wanted it to. It doesn't look bad, but we thought that the ZTZ was going to give us this bright, rich green contrasting off the flex blue. We thought that silver pewter color was going to be playing a role with a little purple, and none of that is going on. The green we got is way softer than we expected. The silver pewter color is not playing a role at all. Again, this is not a failure. It doesn't look bad. But we had a very specific vision on what we wanted to show you guys for the first experiment using the next gen top coat satin. 12 years into doing this, we still can't predict how these colors are gonna react with each other. I'm gonna take it outside and let you guys take a look. You know what to do, leave a comment below, rate this color one through five. Maybe you love it. Maybe you think this is a happy accident. Or maybe you think it's a swing and a miss. I know it's not bad. It's just not what we envisioned going in. And maybe everything happens for a reason. Again, we use the next gen satin top coat on this. The car is butter smooth. This product is incredible. If you dipped your car using the old glossy top coat, trust me, this is a completely different animal. We are going to seal some of these satin cars, but with a low pigment load like this, I just didn't think it needed the extra sheen. I think it looks terrific. If you want to dip your own car, click right up here. All of our kits are in one place. Regardless of the outcome, I always have fun doing projects like this. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you on the next one.